Okay, I can see the target. Let's see. Let me make sure I get my what you call it in here. Alright, I'm gonna start in a minute. I'm gonna start in a minute, guys. Mm. I bring my uh Gotta bring my backup in here in the building. My backup in the building. I hit these lights up real quick. Dang, these little things in the way. I should have had. Uh, if we uh, see that thing is uh, messed up a little bit. Let me see some. Get these, get up to a thousand real quick, and then I start it. I start in a minute. Oh, that's how you look at it. You just swipe to the, okay, swipe to the right, then you see the. I think that's how it works. Swipe to the right, you can see the topic. So that's how it look. Uh, the cool glasses up in here. What's the deal? That's what is in the building. My favorite. My wave wit. I'm about to start it in a couple of seconds. I'm just trying to get this up to the a thou wow real quick, you know. Get to a thigh wild real quick. Yeah, no, I got to get used to this. I done took too many days off. Well, three days was long. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how this is. I need to take my time. She gonna get hers before I... I gotta get my hair locked up. Get my hair locked up probably. I don't know. Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I might do it tomorrow. Gotta be crispy on live, you know? I used to didn't care that much. But now my face being seen on live like crazy. Gotta have a crispy. Got to have it crispy here, you know. Let me see, I'm almost at 800. I am at 800. So I got a couple more to get. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, a thousand. Here we come, here we come. I'll be doing the double fingers. That's what she said. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, man, let me go ahead and start it up. <clears throat> Let's see if the voice still work. Do the, do the voice still work? Okay, we're good. Oh, my. I moved my head by mistake. I didn't mean to move my head. Alright, man. Topic, topic. The topic. The people, the people you have around you shape you. Can shape you. I should have, did I put can in there? I don't know. I messed that up. People you have around you. Whatever, shape you. Okay, we're going to go with that. Then. All right, the topic, people. You have around you shape you, man. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That says enough already. But it, 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 start, it actually starts off from... I would say it starts off from, we could say from birth, shoot, your, your parents shape you, you know what I'm saying? But that's like no choice from there. You know, uh, their, their ways, their traits, they, they get in, they become you, you know what I'm saying? The, depending on how they raise you. That's why they say, you know, the, the, the founder, um, it takes a, the mom and dad in the village, something like that. So the village is usually like the rest of the world. That's what they mean about it. Well, that's why I'm taking out of that, you know, like the 
because it's after you get outside the house, the you know school, the school you go to, and uh, shoot, and then the friends you end up making within that process. So, thing is, yeah, first I'm gonna say the parents, you know, depending on type of the parents you have, if you have like. I think a lot of us have probably had an immature parents and stuff, you know. Most of the time we wasn't planned. I don't know if some kids might have been planned, you know, but if you got immature parents, then you know, you can start getting their immature ways. And uh a lot of the times they they um uh, they talk talk to you about some stuff that well, they would preach on some stuff that they're not practicing a lot. It just depend. It just depends on how young your parents was or how how their mindset was. So, you know, that, that kind of rubs off on you and it, and it creates your character. Then it depends on uh uh even the, the 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 shows and stuff that they had you watching if when you was unsupervised or whatever. What's the deal? Save you in the building. So besides all that, like they ways if they have like Toxic relationships, or whatever you know, if they got a good relationship, oh my bad, my bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, depending on the type of parents you get, that's gonna rub off on you. You know, that's what starts off. That's the that's the starter kit, the starter of kid, <laughs> starter kit. But anyways, you know, depending on the type of parents you had, if you had, uh, let me see, I can't even think of uh, what type of, you had the immature parents that just want to, I mean, you see all that, that stuff shapes you, you know, they, 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 they always getting into it and stuff, you know, you're going to have that kind of in stored in, it's going to be stored inside of you. As a little kid, that's all you seeing and stuff. So that you know, you're gonna take some of them traits. A lot of that stuff, like it gets so deep that I don't even think that they say it's in your bloodline and all this stuff or whatever. But I just think that you no, know, you just look at your parents and seeing the way they act. You see the way they act and all that stuff, and you take certain some of their traits away. But I don't, you know, what I'm saying I don't think you get that 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 DNA or blood. It don't it don't create show. That's just me myself. Like I said, everybody ain't gotta agree with it. But I just believe that, you no, know, the kid what the kid is seeing and stuff, you know, that's what they, they kinda reflect. It's just no different. Like like I said, if you leave your kid unsupervised and they watching some crazy shows, they gonna start taking them crazy ways and stuff. So besides the people it's like, yeah, it's of course the radio and the T V and you know, any type of form of entertainment, they they reflecting on that. So that kinda shaped them too. But you know, you leave them unsupervised and they start looking at some stuff they ain't supposed to. That's why I be telling. That's why they got that on the uh, phone and stuff where they have uh, parental parental control and all that stuff. Because, yeah, kids come back saying some new words you ain't never seen, heard before. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? But, yeah, it starts off at home. You know, depending on how the parents was, they could be strict or not. But, you know, they looking at what the parents is really doing more than what they saying. So that's what makes them. As I say, that's why I tell people to practice what they practice what they preach, because they really paying attention to the actions more than than what's seen. So then the next step will be okay, say school or something like that. So it depend on uh, I guess the friends. We're gonna talk about the friends. You see, eventually people make friends and stuff. They make bullies if they have bullies or you know all that. And I ain't gonna say bullies. They just make friends and. Enemies, I don't know if they want to call them enemies, but they make those, you know, they get those. I should they make and get, you know, that comes in, and that's kind of shaped them. So, depending on how their parents taught them about, you know, even if they have to protect themselves a certain way and all that, you know, like I said, that stuff starts off at home at first, you know, and then uh, the, the outside world just add the Kool Aid to it, you know, they pour a the little sugar in it, and then you know, whatever, whatever the um. Uh, let me see. Like the uh, some it's something that always usually that that gets to the child. Uh, with the outside, I'm talking about as in going to school or something like that. It usually some popular they seen or something. It's something that attached them, so they end up becoming more than ways too. So that's when they come back home and then the parent wondering like, what the heck? You kind of 
acting like you smooth now. You used to be a you used to be a nerd. What you acting like? I don't think their parents gonna call their own child a nerd. But I'm just saying, like you know, they gonna they gonna tell them. Kids usually get their swag and all that stuff usually from school. I'm put it that way, you know, or whatever they at from the social, social. You know what I'm saying? Because they always look at the popular people, or you know, or if they if they not in a popular, they 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 get all that. They get they talk the way to all that stuff. They usually come from school. I would say, I would say, because I don't know if uh, certain okay, certain traits will come from the parents, and when they go to school, they have different like ways and actions that usually come from schools or the friends they hang around and stuff. They usually come from near. Uh, so, you know, then they end up, like I said, they end up having a big friend group. So depending on how their friends start influencing them. And then, you know, I ain't going to even talk about the whole thing. But now we're just going to just jump to adults. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get to the friends. That's the main thing I wanted to get to. Like, depending on your friends that you hang out with or the people you decide to hang out, how, hang out with. And it's whatever. Just... um. Whatever catch their attention, like like I said, it do depend. It do starts off at the house. Depending on how your parents raised you, is what you gonna kind of be, uh, or how they taught you and all that stuff. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna determine what you would kind of attract in a way. Cause you know, if your parents brought you up talking about you know, nah, man, this is kind of you don't want to do this, kind of dangerous or something like that, or this uh. But it just depends on who had the bigger influence. I can't really say that, though, because sometimes it, it, it's like the peer pressure situation and all that stuff. You know, you can go to school. That peer pressure might override what the parents were saying at home most of the time. So a lot of the times, too. Like, oh, that's a lame or something like that. It just depends on that group and stuff. And whatever your child end up. Well, every child is different. So, like I said, depending on the friends that they hang with, if they got the popular people, they're going to have that popular type attitude. They got the... The little nah you beneath me type people and or they're gonna be end up becoming a bully or something like that. It just it just depends. But uh, as an adult, I'm gonna just skip back to the adult again. It's like, yeah, your friends that you kick it with and depending on uh, you know, what your what the hobbies is that you end up deciding to be interested in. Like say if they just like you got the clubby type friends and all that stuff. So you just going to be like a club type person or whatever. You just like, um, you're going to be interested in the, 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 how that music, how that certain music is. And you seeing your friend, how you, I don't know, if you girls, you like seeing your friends, y'all the, the twerky type girls whatever you know the dudes if y'all the flashy jordan wearing type dudes you gonna you know you're gonna stick around that and, and be around that type of situation that just be you know that's what end up kind of molding you to be more of that way and then the thing is like if you have certain ways and and that's where like i said maturity i don't even know if that could even you just you gotta grow into that situation but like if you have friends and stuff you you kick it around with and they never had kind of you know checked you on anything you have done or uh and y'all just always getting into some type of trouble and stuff so them that that would tell kind of more of your your character it's just like y'all just them um, what they call it, the ride or unalive type people and all that uh so you end up you ain't gonna see it. You ain't gonna see it because your friends never checked you on it. So you're gonna feel like what you're doing is right already. You're gonna already feel like that's like you ain't gonna see nothing wrong in it because you y'all you used to being around them type of friends. Then when you got the people that's coming out on the outside checking you, then that whole group, you in the group like, well, who you think you're talking to and all that stuff? And now nah, this just me and all that stuff. But really, we not we for real. You know, we we decide what we want to be. It's just certain stuff that just get our attention and we want to become like. There's always something that we want to become like in our in the and just in the world in general that that catches our attention like but it just depends on what catches our attention first. It's like it could be like oh you seen it, your first interest you start seeing like basketball or something like that then you gonna be like I want to do that then your, your your mind gonna be focused on being like a basketball type player type person. It's gonna focus on it. It's, I think it's just whatever your attention get caught because like um what was the other one? uh. But if you see, like, you got friends that just into, like, scamming and all that stuff, and you just felt like that was cool, and then depending on, like, how they influence you, like, man, it's just some easy money. You get to buy what you want and all that stuff and whatever. You end up 
end up being in that type of situation. Like you going up, <laughs> like it's just whatever. I feel like whatever you see first, whatever spark your interest first, that's what you 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 gonna uh be passionate about of doing. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how I really go though. Cause some like it would have to be something else to overpower that. Like okay, uh, or be a bad experience of seeing how it happened. It'll stop you from doing it. You know what I'm saying? If you see your friend end up getting taken to jail or something about that. It, like I said, it depends on that type of mindset you got, which I would say it came from the house first, you know, the, how the parents, how they act and all that stuff. Depending on how that, how that is, is how you're going to probably react to when you see your friend end up going to jail and stuff. So either you're going to be even more tough for like, man, get the cops or you're going to blame it on the cops because of what you did, you know, what your people did. Or you're going to be like, it's going to scare you away. It's going to either scare you away or something like that. Like, no, nah, I don't want to live that life. So it's going to be either you're going to learn from it or you're going to end up. You're going to end up getting more into it deeper. Like, free my, free my dude. Knowing y'all ain't, you know, knowing that you done, knowing that you done did, the, you know, some crazy stuff. You still talking about free my mans and all that stuff. Like, what the heck? Y'all just committed a crime. You talking about free my man. What's the deal, Fluffy, in the building? But, yeah, like, I know they be saying, like, you know, birds of the feather flock together. That's it's it's like in a way it's kind of true. It's kind of rare that you know you end up being the opposite of what your you what your what the people you hang out is. You know, but it's gonna be something that you attract. So not I don't say nine times eight. Nine, let me see, if seven times out of ten you you end up like just like your friends. Like if you hang if you say your friends are toxic and you're not or something like that. Nah, you're you're that third friend. You know what I'm saying? You are that third toxic one. You know if you say you uh you hang around uh maybe some godly friends and all that stuff or whatever. Which that's kind of rare nowadays, but it's just like your energy, whatever your energy is, you you know what I'm saying? It's going to, the opposite, like, let me see, hold up. It's like, you're going to be unattractive, whatever your energy is set on. Like, if it's set to, like, toxic, then when the good stuff come or whatever, you can be like, oh, get that, get that lame stuff on or something like that. But then if it's like the opposite, like, you been always set on the good and then the, you know, the negative come in, you can be like, what the heck is this? You know what I'm saying? What is this devilish stuff? You know what I'm saying? You start talking like that in a minute. You know what I mean? And like a little later or whatever, you start talking like that. Like, I can't be around this. Because like I said, it just depends on where your, your spirit got set in. Because like you, you was, your, your period spirit is in a, was set in a toxic type ways. You're going to attract toxic type people and all that stuff. Your spirit is, you know, in in type of, you know positive or whatever type ways you're going to attract in them type of people you know that's what's your it ain't gonna even be like a it's not a trash it's just more of a uh i can't say attraction i'm trying to think of another word another word uh it's like your interest it's like you end up interested in them type of people that's what it is you end up like that's what you see like oh man i like that like like i like as i got older i made changes in my life it's like certain people that i'm just you know, is is I I try to get away from because it's like not no longer my interest no more, and then it's certain people that I'm interested in. You know, I like the way they think. I like the way they. You know, what I'm saying. So that's what you start attracting more. You attract off that attraction. Hmm. Yeah. Something like that. But where is where you are is where you will meet people. Right. Most definitely. And then, yeah, the environment do play a major part and depend on how you raised up and how your, your mindset take things and all that stuff. So you, you grew up in this type of, and like I said, your parents, like I, mean, like I said, that's the main thing that, that, that boils your brain to be how it is. It starts off in the house. It starts off with your parents and all that stuff. Cause your parents, depending on how, you know, how, how more influenced your parents was, they can overpower what these the, the the outside is doing like depending on like if your parents wasn't lazy and stuff and they in your head just you know drilling i'm gonna say drilling but they just in your head to like you know no nah, you need to watch it you don't want to do this you don't want to uh i mean kids gonna still do what they want to do people gonna do what they want to do but i'm just saying it's just it's always gonna be in the back of their head people gonna remember how their parents raised them so that's always gonna be there so that's why i say it's gonna start off from home so, like, if your parents always taught you, even like I say, even in the environment or whatever, they taught you that, you know what, no matter what, we about to make it through this anyway. So, you're going to have that make it through type mentality and stuff because your parents is the first ones that, that started in your mind. Now, if your parents, you've seen your parents always panicking every time a bill came and if, uh, you know, every time they got in an argument about something, that's like, that's going to, like, that plays a major 
impact on the child it, 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 and it makes their character as they grow up and then they have to, when they grow up they're gonna have to learn so it's gonna have to be like an undo type button they would have to relearn something else different you know it's gonna it got to be something different like but they would have to want to do that but by them getting raised that type of way it made them become that type of you know that type of uh human <laughs> That's what they end up becoming. So, like I said, it do starts off. It, that's who shape, you know, shape that mindset first. That's always gonna be in the back of your mindset. But then the people you start hanging with is just it, it, it um, influence it or it just you know it just it make it more deeper into that. But what was I about to say? But yeah, um, the yeah, it just like I said, once it start off with that, it, and, and your parents show you and how, depending on how they teach you and stuff, they and show you how to overcome because it's like bad times gonna come no matter what, no matter what age, whatever. No, it's that's dang there every day. I ain't gonna say bad times. It's you know struggles or um life gonna hit. I'm gonna put it that way. So that's gonna come regardless, no matter what. It's just depending on how I would say your parents. Uh, handled it you know what i'm saying if you have strong tough mature parents I, I don't i would say there's a very high chance you you will take their ways it was like like cause that's the first teachers that's like your first teacher so and then like whatever you know comes after it, it you know what i'm saying that's it, that adds to it a little bit it just depends on what it ta- they take out of it but it's just all about who what's more of the influence and what's more of the interest of the other of the uh child or you know child growing into an adult would you know it's no different that's how we make our friends so off certain like i said off certain interests and stuff and that's what attracts so at the end of the day we see interest is what attract whatever you're interested in or whatever type of mindset is what you attract sometimes it don't even be the same agreeable stuff but if you like interested in clubs and all that stuff you're gonna have club type friends if you if you're interested in but like my a lot of my friends i met off game and i was so interested in gaming i got I, it started off friends started off that way then we start you know that was our common thing we was all um in you know what i'm saying we ended up meeting like that playing the game but then like to that we like the competition and all that stuff we we realized that we were uh you know we talk a lot about a lot of stuff then we realized that we had each we we it was like more and more stuff we just grow into that's how you know how a lot of them friends how you how you first meet them it's something that was just interesting about you like some of the chicks they like oh i like your nails i like your i like your dress and all that stuff and you know they they interested in fashion or something like that then you end up making friends off that you know what i'm saying that's what attracted and then it's just like certain other ways that might add to it but if it's more of uninterest that start popping up that's why you you start unfriending even more it's like Ugh, okay i like this about them but i don't like this about them it just depends on how higher how what prioritize interests or main interests you want them for or you like them for you know what i'm saying so like i said all that stuff it, it depends so most of the time your interest will tell you a lot about why you're interested in these type of friends or having these type of people you hang around or whatever and that will it will create your character from that point like if it's something that you have to dig deep in you have to make a change for the for the world or for you know the better of of humans you hang around and that's some stuff you will have to like as an adult or you know what i'm saying some people learn at a young age you will have to really want to do you might have to go to counseling for it or you might have to be interested in change you know making change or becoming a better person that's when you have to make that and more interest than you doing your old way so like i said start off with interest first before you attract this type of situation first so that's the that's the main thing uh um but yeah basically like i said uh you know depending on the people you hang with but yes they and now i forgot that i can go the other way i was talking about all that you know but uh it brings back up and i think me oh me and my best friend that's on here you know (laughs) that's in the comments but uh we was talking about that too like i was saying about and wish wish you had a valid point about that that uh because i was i was always saying like uh I'm maybe I could be the tough one and 
my uh you know I, I can influence my friend and stuff which it go back to the influence and all that stuff it go influence and attract so i said I, maybe i could be the tough one but then again like no matter what if you have you know your friends the people you really hang tight with it's they gonna influence you some type of way because that's what you know that's what your friends is there for it's some type of influence they gonna have in your life so like even if you know you're the toughest of the tough or you feel like you're the strongest one out the group you know, that's how I be feeling about certain situations, certain sacrifices I made and, and, and stuff I changed in my life. You know, I'm not I'm not you know, I'm not expecting them to be like me. I just want them to, uh, you know, just. You know, take certain ways from me that they feel that's best fit that can might help them or whatever. So even that it's just like I would have to. But I, I love my friends, you know, what I say I love them, but it's just certain stuff I can't kick it with them about. And that thing is. Us being deep friends and that they just respect that, you know what I'm saying? They know they realize it's certain stuff I'm not gonna do. Like as many times they done try to influence me to to smoke that good good and all that stuff. I've never done it before and still never did it. They always tried it. I even had Chase that tried it. It's just no, nah, I was never it never was my interest, you know what I'm saying? Then I think I had more valid reason because I said I never wanted to mess my lips up and stuff because I realized that that messed your lips up and all that. So and then I always looked at it like I've never smoked anything, so that was something I just kept in my head. So I didn't want to, you know, but. Yeah. So, you know, stuff like that, it's just friends, a real friend they, or whatever you who you hang with. It just depend on what, you know, what if what um influence you or interest you the most or whatever. So it never did that. So they couldn't get that to me, get that through to me. But it's different little stuff like they might bring out some of my old traits. I might end up drinking some liquor or something when i said i was gonna cut it out but then you being around your friends you want to be cool and all that stuff it's like they're gonna bring it out you know what i'm saying they're gonna end up bringing it out even as bad as you don't want to do it but you haven't been doing it until you got around your friends and stuff so that's what i mean about your friends can influence you because they're they're your friends they're your friends so it, it's bound to happen sometimes they can talk to you too is you got to be really strong enough so like right now i done, since i done made i've been working so hard heavy on self-discipline as of last year uh, I did. I cut out a uh, strong liquor, so I stopped doing it. I kept it in my mind. I just ended up becoming strong enough. I think, thank God, I guess that uh, put that in my mind to, to be like that. Just you know, put my foot down. That's why I guess why I use my ego focus. That's why I say ego. I was thinking about it. ego can be a good thing and a bad thing. So I use my ego for like the better of myself and just you know tell myself like, uh, you know. You weak if you can't do this. You know what I'm saying? You weak if you sit there and, and, and break your rule and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I talk to myself sometimes instead of, uh, you know, for the better of myself or whatever. And I don't want to look at it that I, I want to look at it that I set a goal and I'm going to do what I say. I said, I'm going to stop drinking heavy liquor. So I, I stopped doing it. And I told my, uh, actually, it took a couple of days, but after I told my friend, and I think my last, my one friend is on, on his birthday, I stopped, I, I was going to drink. I told him, that's my, I'm only doing a couple shots and that's it for your birthday. Just because I just started, you know, being disciplined in it. Then my other friend, I forgot his birthday ain't come, so I did my last shot with him. And I told him, I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not drinking heavy liquors no more. As much as they've been trying it lately, I'm like, I ain't doing it. But from that point, I said, stop doing it. I have stopped, I have stopped drinking uh, heavy liquors and stuff. So, like I said, they can, they can do a major impact in your life, though. They can, they may, they most definitely can. But the thing is, you would have to have friends that, that respect you, that respect your, your, your way of thinking, and, and you know, what I'm saying that's not trying to really push it. And by me and my friends, and I've been with them for like dang near probably 10, 10 15, one something, like ten to fifteen years plus. You know what I'm saying with my my friends and stuff. They they realize they see my journey, they see my change and stuff, and they kind of doing a little bit of change. I'm not, you know, they ain't changed all the way, but they got different change. They see different stuff, and you know maybe I'm putting some impacts in their life, and that's why they, you know, what I'm saying that's why they real friends and all that stuff. They respect certain stuff. They got. They be in their ways about certain things, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Friends stick stick through good times and bad times. That's what a real friend is, you know. So, like I said, it, it the people around you, your especially your friends, they most definitely shape you into that type of person you is, you know. And if it depending on who the stronger one out the group, you know, you can shape them. You know, but if it's like certain situations, like say, okay, I'll go back to my me being celibate thing, it's like they out there got the all the girls and all that stuff they got all this stuff it's like i would have to like this is what i mean about it about the shaping thing is like okay i know if my friend ain't cut that stuff out and he bringing the girls around i would have to move my probably remove myself out that situation even though a couple times i did want to test it just to see if i'm a man of my word and if they had some chicks over there and i come over there like nope you ain't gonna get me <laughs> i'm a celibate man just to say it right in their mouth and stuff like i'm so get away from me so i know i'm talking to you 
But uh, no, nah, I think that temptation is real though. I, I gotta uh, so I'd rather you know I'd rather just tell them like yeah, you know what I'm I gotta you know gotta avoid this man. I gotta I gotta get up out of here because temptation is real. So I would just have to. That's how you would have to do that, and then they would have to understand that you know we're not. Ain't it don't mean we're not friends anymore. We just gotta certain stuff that you you influencing me in front of. I can't deal with it right now. So you know I see. I I guess I see your next lifetime. You know what I'm saying something like that, but. But they can. Like I said, it just depends if you let them. If you let them do that. But a lot of people is not that strong, though. A lot of people is not that strong. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not telling everybody to even be like me. But I'm just saying that if you hang around friends that's giving you, that's that's setting you up for negative stuff, you know, you, you'll you have to change that group up. You only, I mean, you only have to change it up if they can't respect what you want to do or to better your life. That's how you will have to change that up. You have to change friends, you know, because they want to stick in their ways and you trying to grow. So they're going to hold you back. You know what I'm saying? So, what's the deal? Uh, Empress in the building. So, yeah, they can. And it's funny because, like I said, I was talking to, and I wanted to say that too, but I, I had to admit, I had to give her the 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 the, the, the tile that she was right about that. Because I was telling, I always telling people, and she made me think about it. She made me think about it, like, because I was like, man, maybe I'm the tough one in the group, and you know, they gonna have to, they gonna have to do it. Uh, they gonna have to. What the heck is the word I'm trying to say? Oh, they I'm gonna have I'm gonna influence them. But the thing is, no matter how we look at it, we influence each other. <laughs> so it don't matter. No matter how we want to look at it, we influence each other. No type of way. That's the point of friends. To influence each other. So as, as tough as we want to think we are, you know what I'm saying? We influence each other. You know, it's just always take the stronger one. You know, like I said, I use pride. I use Ego, I use pride, ego, whatever to to help me in my journey. You know what I'm saying? I always, I test, I, like I say, I test myself. I mean, I, I challenge myself. I tell myself, like, dude, you you mess up, you weak. You know what I'm saying? Or if you 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 can't you can't be a man in your own world. I, I do. I use my own stuff against me. That's how you use ego in a positive type of way. You know what I'm saying? Because all that stuff is part of us. You know, ego and all these emotions and different stuff. That's part of us. It just depends on how you use. Now, if you if I'm using my ego to tell somebody, uh, um. Nah, what you saying is wrong. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me or if I can't take a person telling me uh, or disagreeing with me, you know, that's the wrong way to use the ego. They that make you an egotistical person. You know what I'm saying? If you're using it for the wrong type way and all that stuff. But you got to, that's why I say you can shift it. You can shift it to a way where, like I said, where it's better in your life. Just shift it to a way it's, it's better in your life. Because you can even use that like... You know, you still weak because you let your ego get to you. Can I mean, you can use it on both ways. Like, so ego is not a bad thing all the time. But trying to you know live in ego, you know what I'm saying? That's when you that's when you be closed minded and you close doors and all that stuff, and you're not open to a lot of situations. Uh, you know, and you just believe only you at the end of the day. You know, you're not really open like that, and that's like I wouldn't use it in that type of way. You know, but. Most definitely, we uh, like I said, that's what friends fold. That's what the people we hang. It can be family. I ain't even gotta be friends. It can be family, and <laughs> they influence us too. All that, you know, we don't do that around here and all that stuff. You know, we let me see my last. We deal it around here. What the hell? You know, I just be doing it with my cousin and stuff. We don't take nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So you know that stuff it influences you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta watch out for that. Cause if they ain't doing all that stuff, trying to bring your gangster out and all that stuff, like, okay, the other day, I ain't gonna mention no lies, but I was seeing like, okay, people be hyping people up and stuff, and people don't really be that, they be mad, but if you start talking to people and they're they're not trying to calm you down, but they're trying to enforce your the mad you got in you, it's gonna make you matter. It's gonna make you matter on here next minute you but not at all for of TikTok and stuff, cause you got people in your ear like, Yeah, you right, yeah, you right. They shouldn't have did that and you just get hyped up. And that's what I mean. And like that's the people you getting around. The people you done got around. But if you got you hang around some people like say if it's is my life or something like that. And you got people that, that try to be like positive and all that stuff. Like, man, you be all right. You just, you got to just chill a little bit, man. And all that stuff. The next minute you done turn from Hulk to, you know, uh, Bruce Banner again. You good after that. You know what I'm saying? You go, it's just depending on who you're around. That's, that's who influenced you. You know what I'm saying? It depends on who you're around. And that's exactly what I mean. Like that stuff, you don't even have to be in the friends. It could be at the moment, the moments you at, you know what I'm saying? It could be your job. You know, if you say, um, uh, I'm at, I'm at their job and, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 
I'm a slow worker or something like that. And you got people that's driving around me all fast and all that stuff. Next minute, I'm like, man, what the heck? But my interest, because my interest, I'm, I'm very, I'm competitive and all that stuff. So that's what just hyped me up because I went from being a slow driver and I'm seeing somebody else do it. You know what I'm saying? They influenced me and it's my interest. Like I said, it's the interest. And then next minute, I'm over here trying to, all right, let's go, let's go. I used to have fun as one job, but I was getting paid so little. I ain't like how to build. I was having fun. We just offloading trucks. Like I'm a, like I said, I'm a high load driver and all that stuff. And I'm just we offloading, trying to be the fastest. I started off slow, but I I caught on to it quick because I be telling you the video games be helping me out, man. I'm I'm real sweet on that high low, man. I test any of y'all that's in here. What's up? It's like, nah, that competition came out, but yeah, it like they influence you. Your people, shoot you, shoot you, shoot you. <laughs> your mother. If your mother, oh, phew, don't let me talk about that now. Your mother or your father, if they, man, they get in your ear about some stuff like, man, you know we don't do that around here and all that stuff. You ain't about to let nobody, you ain't no bet nobody bully you and all that stuff. Not my daughter. No. You right. You right, ma. You right. You know what I'm saying? That can influence you, though. You got to watch out for that. I mean, you you can love your parents and stuff, but you got to, it's going to be hard to put your foot down because your parents want the best out of you. Or, the, you know, that's their form of saying they want the best out of you. But it, you got to realize that, I mean, you do anything for your parents and stuff, but you got to, that's like one of the biggest influence, man. Because, like, I can feel like my mama said, you know, sock somebody in the, you know what I'm saying? Dude, whatever. They, I don't like how this dude looking at me. I need you to take care of it. What ah? You know what I'm saying? Right in this jaw. You know what I'm saying? But nah, good thing I got a mother like that. <laughs> I ain't got one like that because that's probably one of the biggest influences ever. Like, what what, what you what he say to you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all it takes. I don't think nothing beating that influence like the mama and your mama. <laughs> but I'm good that I have a, a me myself. I got me a very religious mother. You know what I'm saying? That that's very uh positive and very you know godly like she even be checking me on a lot of stuff and whatever but i know she mean the best for me i already know man she been like that since i was a little kid and you know that's why i respect i respect her and i grew a lot of stuff or whatever and, you know i let her be her we talk every now and then about different little things just i'm trying to let her know that just so she don't be disappointed because i know she wanted me to be a certain way but it's just certain stuff i learned in life or whatever and you know i just try to get her to understand me and all that so but we on the same page on on different little stuff, man. She be, she even be watching my stuff, some my lives and stuff. Sometimes that's what actually helping me push more on here for real, because she was interested. Should I show my father my stuff? You know, it was kind of hard, hard to, uh, cause he critiqued me so much on a lot of stuff, and I was shocked that I showed him a video and he said he liked it, one of my videos. So, man, my push mode is on super ten. Now. I'm like, man, both my parents like my stuff, so I gotta grind. Got to. That's one thing a child, you know, a person always look for, especially a child look for, is to make their parents proud, for real. That's like the biggest motivation you can ever have. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, they, whew, that's the number one that will shape you, for real. You'll be shaped to, man, you'll be super shaped. You know what I'm saying? Your parents say something like, man, I need you to take care of that for me. You about to take care of it. I mean, that, that's one of the hardest ones to even reject. You, I don't know you can... But it just that really depends on how. Remember how I started this off saying that your parents are the first, the first thing that shape you, first people that shape you in your life, and and that can be the last things that shape you sometimes too. Depending on how if you outgrew certain stuff from your parents and stuff, if especially if your parents had like negative ways or you know whatever ways, if you outgrew that and, and trying to become a positive person. But some people, some people have positive parents, and and, they, and then the world has got to them and. Like I said, it just depends on how strong their positive was because they got to make their positive in an interesting type of way. Like I said, the only way you can be attracted to it, it got to be interested. So if they can present their positiveness in an interest, interesting way, you know, that's when you're going to be more attracted to them more than these negative people that's, you know, presenting their stuff in an interesting way. It can be less interested than, you know, you know your parents positive. So it, like I said, it depends on that. But. Yeah. I think that's that's about it. I think I had me a good little amount. Yeah, I did. So anybody want to pop up in the box? You already know who I'm looking for first. Come on. Come on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm good, though. I'm good. But that's, that's, that's basically the topic for sure, man. Yeah. Must be many different forms of, of, of shaping, man, for real. Uh. It's all type of stuff, man. Even the, like I said, the, the, the 
entertainment and realize that's entertainment the tvs you watch tv shows you watch the if you want to watch drama shows or if you want to watch drag queens or you know whatever funny shows you're gonna become a funny type person you know what i'm saying all that stuff um radio you listen to the type of music you listen to you know if you're talking about whoop that you know to whoop that up or whatever you start trying to be on whoop that up mode you know what i'm saying so that that shapes you too so yeah, for sure. Okay, for sure, for sure. I got you. I got you. You know. Um, Touche is in the building. What's the deal, man? Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I can think of some more stuff. If somebody ain't popping up in the box, think of some more stuff. Then I'm by YouTube ready. Let's get YouTube ready. You know. But like I said, the programs you watch. Uh, and that's why a lot of us are attracted to that, and that's just just growing up in this. This type of world is drama type world. That's why a lot of us like drama type shows and all that stuff. Uh, I am the Dark Knight. All right, Batman. Uh, nah, lover boy. <laughs> Dark lover boy. That's what you are. <laughs> I ain't forget. <laughs> uh, man. Um, but yeah, man. Like I said, it is the radio we listen to. Um, you know these, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take some of these chicks that be listening to Meg The Stallion and feel like that that all that other stuff like they really saying that that, that junk shows a lot already. I'm not trying to make no judgments and stuff. Just like I wouldn't hang around no dudes. I mean, I ain't gonna say that because some of my friends. But you could tell in their actions from that point and the way they start talking after that. But some of my friends, they be in that the future and all that. i mean future cool and all that stuff but it's just like you can see they style it kind of their style matches with their music <laughs> i ain't talking about f these girls and this that and they end up becoming that f these type of girls i mean the stuff that really hit their spirit that's what they end up becoming all right we got forever in the box and in the box yo what's the deal man not much on a job. Oh, still but on nah, the job. I, I had to put I, I had to put you know I had to put my two cents in though. But bro, yeah, it do start when you were kid, bro. When your parents be like, you know, you come home, you know, you just got into a little fight and you lost, and your parents say, okay, who it was? We going back. Ooh, I forgot to tell that story though. That man, my, my, yeah, your parents, <laughs> your, your parents, your parents. Your parents. <laughs> Your parents is the beginning of your villain era, because oh because <laughs> exactly. because Batman your parents, <laughs> yeah, like your parents have become the like the beginning of your villain story because I think all of us have the same type of parents. Like I never got in trouble for a fist fight at school. Like I mm. never got in trouble for. My mom was like, "You're never going to get in trouble for defending yourself," right? But deep down mm. inside, sometimes you done went there and started the fight, and you'd be like, well, he hit me, so I did this. And it was like, and your mom was like, all right, cool. Like, she never really looked at your, your mom, your dad. They never really look into it. And then if you did not, you know, defend yourself, when the your fight. parent was like. No, win the fight. <laughs> no, like, I don't, I, I don't think my mom was really tripping about me always winning because she was like, you never go win all the fights. Like, sometimes you go get. You will get handed My to you, good. but at yeah. least as long as you do fight, and you know, I think that's why I never was scared to fight when I got older, because I was like, yo, I can't beat everybody up, but I am go swing first. Mm -hmm. Like that's a guilty <laughs> pleasure. You know, that's a guilty pleasure that I have, in in a kind of sense of, like, bro, if you start an argument with me, the argument's not gonna last long, because I'm officially. I don't want to say afraid, but I'm afraid that you might swing first and it might hit and it might hurt. So let me swing first. You feel me? Like, let me just, oh, yeah, man, I'll do this and I'll be like, I'm tired of this. Ugh. And I'll be like, all right, well, the fight started now. Like, like, and then some people be like, well, the fight, how you know that y'all was going to really fight? Bro, because I, I initiated the first swing. You're not going to swing on me first, bro. I can't, I can't do that, bro. I'm sorry. That's not swinging first. It's crazy to me sometimes. Like you just allow yourself to get. I, see, I'm not the. I don't. I don't swing first. That's one thing. I can't. I, I'm one of them types that I'm like. I want to see what you're gonna do first. <laughs> and then once you do do the first swing, only thing that holds me back because I'm a big dude. I weigh three. I weigh three hundred. But I, I can move, and 
Usually if they always want to get the big dude down first, but I'm like, I'm not that easy. <laughs> I'm not. And I literally had one time dude swung on me. He connected. My mom always said, you got to be careful because you're not normal. You're not like normal sized child. <laughs> My bad. I, I got laid him out. Call. But yeah, no. Oh, like, you you said you a big dude? Like when you say big, define big. I, I'm I'm 300 and I'm six, I'm six foot. Wait, you three hundred pounds? Yeah, but I'm six foot. I'm definitely swinging on you first in all altercation. <laughs> like you just gotta get this. <laughs> like, and let me tell you why. Because y'all ever seen the movie? We all seen the movie White Chicks. And remember yeah. when he was getting? I'm that dude, bro. I, why you always get the big one? Because if I take him out. This is going to immediately give a warning to everybody. You're like, whoa, he just took out our biggest. <laughs> yeah, I'm swinging first. I'm not waiting on that. Ah! Oh, man. But, dog, like, on the I, might even... dogs, I, I literally have Look people go like, when it come to that. But on the real, hey, I learned that because when I was young, I was like, yo, I, got, I can't be just sitting there looking slow. Nah, I play football, basketball. And mind you, I'm, I'm in the era of the 90s where we, street, we, we play street ball. I have to run. <laughs> I'm definitely swinging first. What's the deal? I'm <laughs> definitely so in the building. I'm definitely like you, three hundred some pounds, and you six one. I mean, I'm six one too. I mean, you six foot. I'm six one, and I'm two sixty. So I'm swinging first because you got me by forty pounds, right? Let's think about this scenario. If you grab me, it might be like the loop de loop at a roller coaster. Like I'm not gonna allow you to get that chance, bro. I gotta take off first. No, like I'm like. But actually, like, I'm humble as hell, but, like, I'm sitting I'm like, yo, I'm literally, I hate Yeah, you're going to be humbly the first one to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What are we, what are yo, we, I like my guy, yo. What's that? your name? Oh, yeah. He's yo, right. I'm about to follow Listen, up, bro. though. I appreciate it. But I'll be telling people, like, bro, I'm not going to, this not for a debate. People be like, you don't. And then what, what kills me is when people be like, you don't fuck yeah. right there. Hey, Kev, I'm out, though. Yo, I'm, bro, I'm still, in the, I, I'm still on the couch. Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. Mm -hmm. I got to go back to work. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm serious. I'm big I'm big on that. Like, And then I, I, I believe in, like, if it's me and you fighting, all right, whatever, cool. But if it's, like, us and it's, like, y'all, I'm swinging first. And uh, uh, that uh, first uh, hit, I'm coming with the most animated punch I possibly could come with. Because if I lay you out, now, now you're And now somebody else is looking at me like, wow, he just like, friend. Yeah, you're, you're next. Like, I don't know. I'll be scared that, like, I don't I don't want to get hit first. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. That's why I'll be mad when, and it, this is something that we kind of, like, deal with, too. I'll be mad when you and your girl get in an argument because I've been in this situation, and she slapped me first. Because now I feel, like, super disrespected because I feel like you snuck me and I wasn't ready, like. <laughs> like I wasn't ready that for that. Like, and then you my girl, so now I can't do nothing. Like women got that. And when, I don't know what it is about women, but women got that quick first slap. Well, pop. You be like, why you slap me like that, bro? Like, is you cool? So, you really so that quitted, mad? Quit it. No Let me way. Just leave you alone. <laughs> She's trying to get somebody in jail. <laughs> it ain't that easy. For no, me, I'm man. not. I don't hit women. <laughs> And that's the fun. That's the funniest thing I ever was told. Well, like I, my mom was. A, that's why I be telling women. Like women be like, why do men? Where do men get that hitting women back? Our moms. Our mom. Mm -hmm. If she's grown enough to hit you, you better hit her back. Yeah, right. I don't want to slap y'all. You know, you hit a woman one time. She be like, oh my god, so I can't believe you did that. Like you just slapped me. Like how you couldn't see that coming? Man. No, nah, it's self defense, not to the police. Right. I'm about to say, not by look at that. Whoever got the most damage is gonna be really horrible. <laughs> that's just gonna be crazy. I, but, I'm a, I got, but, I, but that's why I'm blessed. I'm blessed with having female friends that be ready to fight for me because I'll be like, this because I can't. Yeah, that's what I'm lagging. Is it lagging? No, it's probably me lagging. I'm in Compton oh. right now driving oh, yeah, through the city. Right. And... Yeah, that happened to me one yeah. time. On, like I, I got uh, socked in my job by my 
I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna put her name out, but I got stuck in my job by one of my chicks. Man, say her name. You're not with her no more. It's all right. She'll be all right. <laughs> Blew my junk out. I was like, dude, in my glass. No, don't let the glasses on. That's when I really be getting so mad when the glasses move. <laughs> but I was hey, just grab wait, I grabbed both girl her hands like, the glasses don't, off ever, for you. don't ever in your life don't do that again, man. But I was so mad and angry because I like, nobody don't get away touching my face and all that stuff. <laughs> But I end up like. I mean, you gotta look at it like a, this. I put a dent in the dashboard. <laughs> I, ain't go, I ain't gonna hold you. Whenever I see somebody get the glasses knocked off of them, you gotta go up now, bro. To. Like you ain't got no choice. Like you the glasses no is just flew off. The glasses flying off makes it worse. Cause yeah, now yeah. I'm like, how hard did they really hit you? Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over after that. Yeah, you right about that. <laughs> Uh, fight for no, dude. <laughs> like they could have, they could have hit you, and then the glasses could have fell off because of you. But now I think that they hit you hard because the glasses mm -hmm. flew off. Mm -hmm. And then don't get hit like that in front of your homies because now you are the butt end of the joke. Oh, That's yeah. another thing, is men. Like they women, y'all do probably don't joke about either. the homegirl getting beat up, <laughs> but men, yeah, like, but men, like, if you if the homie get beat up in front of us. And he get bucked one day. The first thing we gonna say is, well, "Where was that energy for old boy who knocked you out?" <laughs> <laughs> right. The joke gonna come straight up. Yeah, you right about that. That joke gonna last forever too. Man. that joke hey, kind of reminds me. Oh, you wanna me. you wanna yell and yell at me? Why you didn't beat old boy up when he did you like that? <laughs> right. You right. That is that's exactly how that goes too. That is exactly how it goes. Why you gonna do that? Junk will be healed for the rest of their life too. <laughs> my uh, you gotta beat somebody else up. Don't what? I got a question. I got a question for you, Kev. I got that? a good question for you. You gotta pick. You gotta get. You either gonna win the fight between a sugar guy. I hope you get what I mean when I say sugar oh, my. guy. Should I restart my live before you say this? Because I don't want to <laughs> get my nah. community guideline. <laughs> Lose my whole video. I said a sugar guy. I can't say that. <laughs> Cause I'd be so sick. You either, too. you either, you either, you ever get, <laughs> you said you'd be sick to lose? No, I was saying this. I said I'd be sick to lose this page because I, I, I'll be, I don't like that they do that for a person in a basket community guideline. I lose my whole video because I post all my videos on YouTube. I'd be so sick. But no, but that's what I'm, well, that's what I'm saying. So can you hear me now? Yeah. He, yeah. You said a sugar guy. Yeah. I okay. Heard. Okay. Good. Yeah, so would you rather win the fight or lose the fight? What was the option? Would you say that one more time, though? It was it had lagged out. You either win, the, you you get into an altercation with a sugar guy. Do you let him punk you, or do you fight him and lose? Which one is worse? <laughs> let him punch me or fight and lose. That's on let him punk I, rather, you. I think he punched me then. He's just going to punch me then. I'm no, not about punk to lose you, to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad. Like, both of them sound like you lose, like, but the other one sound like you got beat up for real. <laughs> I'm good on that. But that don't mean nothing. Because you really don't get no points. You're strong. <laughs> you really don't get no point. You you really don't get no points for winning the fight anyway. Like, if you win, like, okay, you beat somebody who was a sugar. Yeah, they still do. Okay. Yeah, but you don't get no points for that. Nah. Oh yeah, you're right. But, but if you, you lose, but if you lose, if you sorry. lose, you lose points. Yeah. <laughs> if you lose, yeah. you still lose points. Yeah. <laughs> cool points. Yeah, you, you lose points if you lose that fight, big dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I had uh, after what I thought about. I forgot. I was trying to go back to that. Like uh, I was thinking about the parents and how they uh how they do shape because that happened to me when i was younger and stuff because i used to just be uh that was before i start end up getting basically got taught to be tough for real because i guess i was a little punk at like four years old i don't know what age i was and i came back home and told my mama 
And she the godly woman. She was like, man, I don't let them do that again. I'm my, I'm my, I'm my, I think, well, oh, you gonna get a, basically, you gonna get a whooping if you come back home if they let you bet them punk you again or something like that. Ever since then, I wasn't taking none from nobody for the, real. The parents start your villain era. I'm telling you because yeah, they be no, like, for sure. what? Yeah. What's the deal, Mark? In the building. Don't go. Don't don't let your mama come uh, come come to your school and pick you up and you the one crying. If you oh, cry, man. oh man. Oh man. You might as well just go ahead and give the get the game up. Mm. <laughs> They just jaywalked for no reason, and the light is literally like 10 steps away. I'm trying to understand why. I don't know, bro. I always, that's why I said my mama made me into a beast at a young age. And she admitted that when I got older. Like, I couldn't be all soft and lovey dovey like I wanted to. Yeah, I had to make you tough. And I was like, you made a monster. You know that? <laughs> you made me a monster, I'm not a monster. monster. Mm -hmm. Because whenever I got into altercations, like as like a young, uh, uh, a young, uh, old teen slash like adult, like I always took it another level. Like it wasn't just re it wasn't to me it wasn't enough just to like squabble and then you know we go our separate ways and that's it. Like I always was like I gotta take it the furthest, and people used to be like you're. A you are. What's wrong with you? I'm back. Hey, hold on real quick. I'm about to restart real quick. I think I'm delayed too, for sure. You said you're delayed. Oh no, you heard me then. I'm not hey, delayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said I'm about to restart it because I've been having bad luck all last week. I missed two of my videos because uh, I don't know. One of them actually said something about. Oh, failed download. I'm like, what? The something gotta go wrong every time. <laughs> One was a community guy. Like this dude was talking crazy, but well, go ahead and restart it, man, yeah, and invite me back, man. We gonna get yeah. into the lap. Oh, yeah. Everybody, come back and join in and talk. Let's have a conversation. Let's get it going on. for sure, right? Let's get right. Let's get right. <laughs>